Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. It's the first video of 2022. If you're new here, karibu karibu sana. If you're returning fam, karibu karibu tena. So, I've decided to start the year uploading part 2 of the living room makeover. Yeah, you know, it's overdue. Um, however, uh, we, I painted, not really I, but yeah, the house, the living room was painted. I put up the curtains, I put up the carpet. So there are little nitty gritties I'm not done. Um, thank you so much for your support. We are 220 subscribers. So let's get to 500 subbies and I appreciate you guys so, so much. So yeah so guys if you remember from part one of uh the living room makeover we put up the curtain rods but uh, the walls we removed the curtain boxes like you can see on the window and um above the the door and also the small pieces of wood that were just stuck on the wall and they they just didn't look in place so i really needed to paint the space and also my son had decided to make all the walls his chalkboard he will draw and draw and draw so yeah we needed to paint the walls before putting up the curtains and everything so i had to remove the tv and clear up this whole space so we shake i see the sparks you throw So the color we're painting is off white, no soft white. So it's soft white and it it slightly goes to look like the landlord's color in this house, clearly. But uh, I don't know if I'll change the color to brilliant white, but this is working at the moment because I no longer have those patches on the walls. And also you can see over, you can see my son's drawings, the tiny, tiny gray things. That's what he was drawing. But at least I'm glad now he's able to draw a face instead of those tiny, tiny stuff. So yeah.
so this is this is actually the following day and i want to put up the curtains and uh, lay out the carpet It's like I can't walk on the ceiling Oh yeah Got me dreaming Dreaming in colors I never dreamed Oh yeah I let you in deeper than I let anyone else before Fell in love with my broken pieces Took them all and made them yours Didn't know what my heartbeat needed Skipping out in the way I don't know why this shear looks bigger than this one so I'm thinking again of switching them let me see So I realized they were two meters each, but if I remember clearly, when I was getting the shear for the door being made, I picked, I think, 1.5 or 1 meter. So when I was putting up, that's when I realized it was too small. And this shear is supposed to go in the bedroom, but now I'll have to put it in the door because it looks much better as big as it is. And then I only installed one curtain, a single, it's a single curtain rod for the door. And later on, I kind of didn't like it, but it's going to work like that. And then um, I also remember I didn't do a haul for these curtains. So I got these curtains uh, at Isli. I'm going to link the video down here and also up here. Yeah, so I, I got the curtains made in Isli. So for the shears, I picked the tape. Like you can see, the shears do not have the rings. So I picked the tape and it was 100, per meter, 100 bob per meter. So um, the curtains have white and uh, navy blue and uh, some grayish. And that's what I was going for. I was going for navy blue, gray and white. Like you'll see the seats are gray. The curtains have the navy blue and also the carpet. 
So that's why I'm contemplating on painting the walls again a brilliant white to make sure the the, the walls are bright enough. But uh, that I'll see later. So here I'll just install the curtains and you guys will see. So after I had laid down the carpet, that's when I realized my camera was not recording. However, this is how the carpet looks like. And I really struggled and tried laying it out on my own. Until I got tired at some point and had to look for help. I'm really struggling to... I'm really struggling to lay the carpet down. So let me get help and then I'll see you in a few. But this is how the carpet looks like. And this is not black. It's navy blue. Just like the, the navy blue in the curtains. So I'm just having trouble with this gap here. Otherwise, it's not looking bad. So my sewing machine was here, but I'll have to remove it.
so after the struggle and asking for help i managed or we managed to put down the carpet and i'm just loving the space like you guys can see everything looks amazing so around the tv area i have these two stools and they're plastic i got them way back like in 2013 uh at neighbors and i've been with these tools for a long time so for the time being they act as just somewhere i place the radio and uh any gadgets that i have so yeah they work at the moment this wall art um i've had it for a while I, it was a gift from secret santa yeah so those are the items that i have currently actually it's the only deco piece and also i made two sunbursts mirrors that I've, i'm yet to hang because i had the double sided tape but i don't know it was not working so i'll have to get another tape probably the same it's just that the one that i had Elisha. So yeah. This is the next space I'll be tackling and I'm hoping by then we'll have already gotten our TV stand and also this wall was a mess when we moved into this house, this specific wall. So I'm hoping I'll be able to do something with it. Yeah, so it'll also remain as it is at the moment. so thank you guys for watching until this far until next time bye and be blessed and stay blessed